Friends, welcome. If you are against the invasion of Ukraine and want to support our work with my team, you can like our video commentary. Take some time to see what is happening at the front. In the Kupiansk sector, heavy fighting has been going on since high fall, as the occupiers are climbing to Sinkivka, throwing a lot of manpower at the assaults and rolling in in waves. Commanders are driving them forward, not taking the bodies, not telling about the real situation. Bakhmut direction, the 3rd assault brigade broke a column of Russian equipment and eliminated an entire occupation unit near Bakhmut. The enemy attempted to counterattack near the village of Andreevka. The platoon commander of the Espanyol platoon was eliminated, as well as an entire enemy company. Three T-90M tanks and two armored combat vehicles of the occupiers were destroyed. According to the Deputy Minister of Defense, the Ukrainian armed forces liberated three square kilometers on the Bakhmut area over the past week, and the total the occupied area now amounts to 40 square kilometers. In general, the reserves that arrived were put into a meat grinder. In this video, you can see how Ukrainian defenders on MI-8S and MI-24S are attacking enemy positions in the Zaporizhia sector. In July, the Wall Street Journal reported that Ukraine had received about 10 Soviet MI-24 attack helicopters from Poland. Neither Kiev nor Warsaw commented on the delivery. The Ukrainian armed forces pushed the occupiers out of Urozhaina in the Berdyansk sector. The Russians have retreated, but there is no official confirmation that the village has been completely cleared and taken under control. The Russians no longer control the village of Urozhaina. It opens the way to Staromlenivka on the left bank of the Mokryale river which is the main occupation stronghold in the second line of defense. The passage of Urozhaina also makes it possible to reach the village of Zavitne Bajanya and the liberation of Staromalenivka and the breakthrough of the defense at this point will open the way to Mariupol. In the Tavria sector, Russians were taken prisoner and lost 301 people over the last day. They also suffered losses in military equipment such as tanks, mortars, artillery system, 
British intelligence noted that the appearance of the Ukrainian armed forces on the left bank of the Kherson region makes the Russian command think about moving reserves there from the Zaporizhia direction. According to intelligence reports, the sites continue to fight for control of small islands in the mouth of the Dnipro river. The Russian command is facing a dilemma to strengthen the defense in the area or to leave forces on the main direction of Ukrainian counteroffensive. Ukrainian troops are conducting raids in the lower reaches of the Dnipro River on the left bank and expanding their foothold near Antonovsky Bridge, intelligence reports. It is likely then the Ukrainian armed forces took advantage of the rotation of Russian units.